Hi everyone, it's Sade Champagne here. Happy Friday. This is February 28th, 2020. Usually this would be the last day of February, but as we all know, this is leap year, so we get a bonus day. I am so excited to be here with you all. I know it's been a minute since I've done a live video. It has been jam-packed since I started my I Am Extraordinary Academy and just this whole new year. <laughs> so I am going to chat, give you all a few updates as we allow people to come in. Let me know if you can see me clearly and hear me clearly, give me a thumbs up, give me a heart, give me a surprise face, say hello like Dave has, and let me know where you're tuning in from around the world. Awesome. So you'll see me looking down a little bit because I have my notes here and I also have some water as well. So first thing, if you look on my Facebook stories or my Instagram stories, which I know a lot of you follow me on both of those, you will see that I have a new video up. It's about Patreon and Patreon is a website where you are able to really support your favorite artists, speakers, philanthropists, etc. And I have a Patreon now and through my Patreon, you will be able to see exactly all the charity work and community work that I do, not only here where I live, but all around the world. And you'll be able to see what projects I'm working on, what I'm up to, all that good stuff. And it's gonna be exciting because I'm giving away so many wonderful gifts to my supporters that you will get exclusive and first. And it's just really exciting. It's a way that we're able to stay in touch even more and for you to be up to date like literally you'll get weekly monthly testimonials of all the people's lives that i am making a positive impact in and know what projects i'm working on and exactly what's happening in my career so that's first and you'll see that in the description box of this video patreon.com sade champagne also this week has been really awesome i have my academy my i am extraordinary academy which i'll talk about in a couple minutes and hmm, I had my girls group at Buena High School, my Girl Power 101 group, being able to encourage them. And then I was also speaking and mentoring at in Simi Valley yesterday at Hill, Hillside Middle School for middle schoolers and high schoolers for Friday Night Live. So that was really exciting as well. And being able to teach the students about the power of a dream, the importance of focusing and persevering during tough times and they made vision boards so that is also on my stories as well you know I love keeping y'all as updated as possible with my journey and what I'm up to and my new music video color my heart is coming out tomorrow yes you color my heart you color my heart with love so yes that video is coming out tomorrow that is the first video that I have ever directed myself, filmed myself, executive produced, created, shot, all that fun stuff. So that's coming out tomorrow, stay tuned for that. And then today, as I posted in my stories just a few minutes ago, I am going to be filming two more new videos. One is a short film and a concept video, and it's just gonna be a great day. Lastly, my I Am Extraordinary Academy, we just finished our second week at the Academy and you'll see in the description of this video, go ahead and give us a follow on Instagram and like our Facebook page. And thank you to everyone who has supported me and supported our students and supported this amazing venture that my partner Brad Lawson from Two Trees Community and he and I founded this together. He's one of my dearest friends, big bro, and so thankful to his wife Shanna and his family and Two Trees Community for partnering with me in this dream. So, all right, let's get into our message for today. I am really excited about this. As you all know, this is my brand new series called Grace Spiration. I started this series because I am so passionate about many topics. And as you all know, I'm a very spiritual person. I am full of faith. I'm full of the grace of God. And I want to be able to share what God has shown me and what I believe to people who want to receive it. And so this series was inspired by all my best friends who encouraged me and they're like, Shade, you need to start a series. We want to hear you talk about this. Share it with more people. And so here we are. I want to encourage you as you're listening and what we're going to be talking about today, when you are learning something new, it's important to listen, 
Watch and read those things repeatedly as you're learning. Know that the Spirit of God is always working to help you understand, to grow in wisdom and knowledge. Don't freak out or be discouraged if you don't understand something right away. Stay open and keep listening. You will understand in time. So today we're going to be talking about this. Your suffering has come to an end. Your suffering has come to an end. Ooh, this is huge. So I'm going to read the actual verse, the verses that um, we're, the passage that we're going to be discussing today. And this is from Ezekiel 37, 1 through 14. And this is from the God's Word translation, the Valley of Dry Bones. So now you're about to get my story telling on and I'm going to read it to you. The power, and this is Ezekiel 37, 1 through 14. So feel free to pull it out in your Bible, on your phone, or you know, your laptop, because you're watching me on your phone, <laughs> or just listen. The power of the Lord came over me. The Lord brought me out by his spirit and put me down in the middle of a valley. The valley was filled with bones. He led me all around them. I saw that there were very many bones at the bottom of the valley, and they were very dry. Then he asked me, son of man, can these bones live? I answered, only you know, almighty God. Then he said to me, prophesy to these bones, tell them, dry bones, listen to the Lord's word. This is what the almighty Lord says to these bones. I will cause breath to enter you and you will live. I will put ligaments on you, place muscles on on you and cover you with skin. I will put breath in you and you will live. Then you will know that I am the Lord. All right, we're going to continue on. So I prophesied as I was commanded. While I was prophesying, suddenly there was a rattling noise and the bones came together. One bone attaching itself to another. And as I looked, I saw that ligaments were on them, muscles were on them, and skin covered them. Yet there was no breath in them. Then the Lord said to me, prophesy to the breath, prophesy, son of man, tell the breath. This is what the almighty Lord says. Come from the four winds, breathe and breathe on these people who were killed so that they will live. So I prophesied as he commanded me and the breath entered them. Then they came to life and stood on their feet. There were enough of them to form a very large army. The Lord also said to me, son of man, all these people of Israel are like these bones. The people say, our bones are dry and our hope has vanished. We are completely destroyed. So prophesy, tell them, this is what the almighty Lord says. My people, I will open your graves and take you out of them. I will bring you to Israel. Then my people, you will know that I am the Lord because I will open your graves and bring you out of the graves. I will put my spirit in you and you will live. I will place you in your own land. Then you will know that I, the Lord, have spoken and I have done it declares the Lord. This passage always touches me so deeply in my heart and it brings tears to my eyes. Even before I had the understanding that I have today, this passage really, really spoke to me and touched me. I want somebody to know this message is for somebody today. Receive this. God has heard your cries and has felt your pain. Your suffering is coming to an end and God is breathing new life into you. I'm going to say that again. God has heard your cries and has felt your pain. Your suffering is coming to an end and God is breathing new life in you. So I had a vision and I wanna share with you all about this vision. The vision that God gave me was I saw, I see, I saw God in a graveyard and God was pulling up dead bodies from the ground and breathing new life into them. Each human being was going from a lifeless gray color to full of lights and colors. He was dusting them off and wiping them off like a diamond, speaking words of love, hope, and peace over each person that is specific to their needs and their pain. 
Sweat was pouring from God's brow and he was focused but smiling so bright and so happy to complete what he started in us. Shade, what does Ezekiel have to do with me? What does that vision have to do with me? I want you to know this. God has heard your cries and felt your pain. God has heard your cries and felt your pain. There's someone out here who is listening to this and please share this message and go back and listen to it again even after it's posted. You have felt that when you cried, when you were in pain, that nobody heard you and nobody saw you, nobody felt you. But God wants you to know that God has heard your cries and felt your pain. There's nothing that you could ever experience in this world or go through that God is not also feeling with you and there with you experiencing it and by your side. God has heard your cries and felt your pain. You are not alone. You are not alone. It doesn't matter what the situation is. You are never alone. You can go to the deepest part of the earth. You can go to the deepest valley, the most destitute, sad, discouraged place, and God is there. You can go to the middle times of life where you feel like you're just in this same place. You're not too happy. You're not too sad. Just monotonous. And guess what? God is there. You can go to the person who's the most greatest success according to the world standards. God is there. There is no place in the entire universe in all of time where God is not. It's impossible. God is ubiquitous. God is everywhere. You are not alone. Next, God is resurrecting your life from the inside out. What is the situation that's bothering you today? What is it in your life that you feel that is dead? You feel there's no hope, there's no encouragement, you're too sad, you're too discouraged, you're anxious, you're full of fear. God is resurrecting your life from the inside out. There is no part of you in your heart, in your mind, in your life, in your relationships, in your circumstances that Jesus is not pouring into and wanting to bring healing and life to you. God is bringing you new life every single moment. The more that we're able to receive that and see just how unstoppable God is, it changes everything. It shrinks all of our challenges and our problems and everything that we experience and we're able to keep things in their proper perspective, knowing, okay, I know I'm going through this, but what is, but when I see that God is unstoppable and that God's love for me is unstoppable, this is the same love that rose a person from the grave never to die again, it shrinks those situations. And you understand that God's love for you, that God's life, that who Jesus is, is unstoppable. God is resurrecting your life from the inside out. Next, the life of Christ in you will swallow up all death, all lies, all lack, all pain. I want you to take everything that you're going through, all that you're feeling, everything that's bothering you, and I want you to write it down, speak it out, show it, share it, whatever it is, I want you to, where you can physically see it. And I want you to look at that, and I want you to hear this as well, that the life of Jesus Christ in you is swallowing up all death, all lies, all lack, all pain. Jesus is able to bring healing and transformation to all those areas. But Shade, I've been anxious my whole life. I've been insecure my whole life. I've been dealing with this bad relationship my whole life. Nothing is impossible for God. The life of Jesus swallows all that up. And God is able to, re just like the diamonds that we are, wipe us off, make us brand new, bring new life into us. And where we too become unstoppable, encouraged, full of hope, full of faith, full of compassion, full of grace and confidence in our heaven-made identity and who God has created us to be. Next, you are headed for eternity. Only what is of Christ will last for forever. Remember, if you have received this amazing grace that we have in Jesus, the only thing that will be left of you is life. Meaning, no matter how dead everything looks around you, even should I die a physical death in this body, God will raise me up back to life in the afterlife and I will live again and I will not have to experience anything that I've gone through in this world. Only what is of Christ will last for forever. So whatever the situation is, whatever it is, your problems, whatever it is that is bringing you discouragement and sadness and anger and bitterness, those things will not last for forever. 
you are headed for eternity. God has a life for you that's greater than this life. Even should I live 100 years, I live 110 years, that's not enough. God did not create me. God did not create you just to live for 100, 110 years. Whoopity whoop. God has a life for you that will never end. A life where you will live, even in the Bible days where they lived for a thousand years. That was not enough. When God originally made human beings, God made us to be like God in the sense where we would never be separated from life, where we could live for forever. And so God has a life for you that goes beyond this life. You can enjoy the life we have here. You can enjoy all the pleasures, live your dreams, pursue your passions, all the things that matter to you. But guess what? I want you to remember and know that God has a life for you beyond this life that will never end. An eternal life that no one can take from you. No one can separate you from. No matter what, knowing that you are headed for eternity. So as we're going to be wrapping this up soon, God is looking at us and God is asking, tell me where it hurts. Tell me where does it hurt? What is hurting you? God wants to be everything you need, everything you want. God wants to be the very strength and sustenance of your life. God has heard your cries and God has felt your pain. Your suffering is coming to an end and God is breathing new life into you. God is breathing new life into you. I want to pray for every single person who has been in pain and felt like they were suffering for so long and they didn't even know how they were going to make it. You thought that depression, anxiety, panic, paranoia, debt, broken relationships, heartache, insecurities, fears, whatever it is, you thought that it was going to take you out. But I want to encourage you today that your suffering is coming to an end, that God has heard your pain. God has felt your pain and God has heard your cries. God is for you. Father God, I thank you so much for your life. I thank you so much for your life that you have given to us freely. I thank you for every single person that's watching this video and that will watch it in the days and the months and the weeks and the years to come. I thank you for everyone that's sharing this video. And I thank you that you are bringing healing to the depths of their being. I pray that I thank you that you're bringing healing to their minds, to every person who has felt defeated, who has felt that their pain is going to take them out and that they just have to settle and live this life for forever. I thank you that you're reminding them that you are the God who heals. You are the God who brings us new life. Just like I saw in that vision, just like in Ezekiel. And it brings me, it literally oftentimes brings me to tears when I think about it. People thought that their life was over. They thought there was no hope for them. They, they would say, what will I do? Who will care for my life? That's why people make most of the decisions that they do and how they live the way that they do because they feel that no one will care for them. They wonder, who will care for me? Who loves me? Where, what will be of my life? When you know that God loves you and cherishes you, that God has a life for you that is wonderful here and in the life to come, which is way longer than our lives here, it changes everything. God is able to raise you up from whatever it is, from whatever pit or valley or hole that you have been in. Nothing is too hard for our God. Nothing is too hard, no matter what it may be. I feel like I just got a call right now on my phone, so I apologize if the live taping stopped for a second, but we're gonna keep going and finish this up. So I want you to be encouraged by that. Nothing is impossible with God. Your suffering is coming to an end. God has heard your cries and felt your pain. Your suffering is coming to an end. Be encouraged. I thank you all so much for joining me today. I know I got a little emotional. The tears was almost there, but I got them. <laughs> but you know, I'm a big crier anyways, a big laugher, I'm a big shouter, all that fun stuff. And so I just want to encourage you all today. If you're just tuning in, go back and listen to the whole video when it uploads and just allow it to encourage you and speak life to you. Watch it again and again. Share it with other people who you feel may have been discouraged and feeling depressed and defeated and down and out and just speak this life to them. And I wanna thank you all so much. I'm gonna go back in the comments later and respond back to you. If you have any specific prayer requests, let me know. Reach out to me um, via in the comments or send me a message. And I hope you have a wonderful rest of your Friday and I look forward to being in touch with you all very soon make sure you're watching my stories check out my patreon my i am extraordinary academy and just remember 
You are so loved and so cherished. And I want to tell you something, Carly, closer. God is so much better and so much more wonderful, so much more amazing, so much more loving, so much more compassionate than we were told. <gasps> That's right. I am living proof. I experience it every single day. And it's not just for me. It's for you too. It's for everyone. It's for all people from everywhere. So I love you all so much. Giving you big hugs and I'll chat with you soon. Bye.